Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing PyChart data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully. Based on that, we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. Here, two pie charts are given. Look at the information. <coughs> Number of students studying in different faculties in the years uh, 2001 and 2002 from state X. Here the information is about uh, who the number of students who are studying various uh, departments, uh, various uh, faculties or uh, you know one is medicine, arts, commerce, all these are various faculties uh, and uh, in the years, two years are given, one is in the year 2001 and one is in the year 2002 and various faculties which are provided as uh, medicine, arts, Commerce, Science, Agriculture, Engineering and Pharmacy. These are the total 7 areas in which uh, the students are studying and uh, total number of students in 2001, 35,000 whereas in 2002 that is 40,000 and there is no change in uh, uh, areas where the students are studying. If you look at both the pie charts, uh, here Whatever the areas covered in this uh, in this uh, particular pie chart one, the same areas will be there in second pie chart. Medicine is there, arts is there, commerce is there, science, agriculture, engineering, and pharmacy. Same areas, but only thing is two different years are given, and the state is uh, X uh, state X. Okay, that is the given information. Given information is very clear, and we can easily solve the uh, easily understand the information according to that information the questions will be asked and uh, you need to solve uh, in a quick manner right why because uh, whenever uh, in a if you are uh, going for any kind of competitive examinations definitely time is uh, uh, plays major role so that you need to be uh, as fast as uh, possible you need to solve each and every problem right Look at the first question. What is the ratio between? Here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio between what numbers? One is number of students studying pharmacy in the year 2001 and 2002. Here we are talking about pharmacy. We are talking about pharmacy. We want the ratio in the year 2001. 2001 pharmacy and 2002 pharmacy. That ratio we need to calculate. First, uh, 2001. 2001 total number of students are 35,000. In that, pharmacy is 6 percentage. Pharmacy is 6 percentage. What is 6 percentage of that value? Don't multiply at this position. Okay. Whereas coming to 2002. In 2002, total number of students are 40,000. Out of that, Pharmacy is 9 percentage. Pharmacy, 9 percentage. Now, if you observe carefully, 2 zeros, 2 zeros cancel. 3 zeros, 3 zeros cancel. You can cancel with 5 table. 5, 7 times. 5, 8 times. Next, 2 3 sir, 2 4 sir. 3 1 sir, 3 3 sir. Therefore, our required ratio to the left hand side is 7 and to the right hand side is 4, 3 is 12. 7 is to 12. 7 is to 12. That is our required answer. Option A. Option A is the right answer for this question. Okay. Let us look at the second question. What was the approximate percentage increase? What was the approximate percentage increase? in the number of students studying engineering from the year 2001 to 2002. 2001 to 2002 number of students studying engineering. We need to calculate percentage increment. First calculate 2001 engineering value. After that you can calculate 2002 engineering value and then you have to compare those two. You need to calculate percentage increment for that. Now, look at the first one, 2001. In 2001, total number of students are 35,000. In that, engineering, 18 percentage. What is 18 percentage of that value? 
two zeros two zeros cancel. So here you can multiply these two. I will take a uh, multiplication at this position. Eight five zero forty four is carry forward. Three eight zero twenty four plus five twenty nine twenty nine plus four thirty three. Three is the carry forward. Three one zero three three plus three six six thirty. So six thirty. And one more zero is there. You need to take one more zero as well. Six three double zero. Three fifteen to eighteen, which is equal to six three double zero. These many students are studying engineering in the year two thousand one. Now coming to engineering two thousand two. Engineering two thousand two. What is that value? See here. In two thousand two, total number of students are forty thousand. Out of that, engineering is nineteen percentage. Engineering is nineteen percentage. So two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. Nineteen four zero seventy six. Two zeros are there. You can keep two zeros. Now in two thousand two, number of students who are studying engineering seven thousand six hundred. Whereas in two thousand one, that is six thousand three hundred. Obviously, the value is increases from two thousand one to two thousand two. Therefore, we need to calculate percentage increment. We need to calculate percentage increment. Percentage increment is nothing but difference between those two values divided by less value in the denominator into hundred percentage symbol. That's it. Whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol is common, and before that, whenever you are calculating percentage increment, uh, numerator is difference between the values, whereas the denominator is the less value. Suppose if you are calculating percentage decrement, uh, numerator is doesn't change difference between those two, but denominator is more value you need to take. Uh, here. Percentage increment is equal to required percentage increment is equal to difference between those two seven six double zero minus six three double zero divided by less value is obviously six three double zero right so into hundred percentage here two zeros two zeros cancel and next uh, here it is thirteen uh, hundred seven six double zero minus uh, Six three double zero, which is equal to thirteen hundred divided by sixty three. Thirteen hundred divided by sixty three. You can calculate this value. Sixty three two sir. Sixty three two sir. One twenty six. One twenty six. Still four is left over. Forty. Forty means uh, you can keep it as uh, zero. Twenty point something. Your answer should be approximately. No need of calculating the exact value. If you want the approximate answer, it is twenty point something. Once you get the options, uh, we have the option twenty. Therefore, directly you can go with the twenty percentage. Suppose if you have another option like twenty one, if you have the option twenty one, then you need to verify after the decimal point what is the first digit. If the first digit is uh, More than five, uh, then you can opt it to twenty one. If it is uh, less than or equal to five, then you can go with the uh, twenty. But rare cases it will uh, come into the picture. But majority of the cases uh, options will not be like that. Twenty, twenty one, side by side numbers will not be given anyhow. Okay, our answer is twenty percentage. I don't want to calculate uh, the exact value. I want to calculate the approximate answer. Approximate answer is obviously. Twenty percentage. Next question. In the year two thousand one, that is first one, two thousand one, the number of students studying arts and commerce together, arts and commerce together, arts and commerce together, is what percent of number of students studying these subjects together in two thousand two? See arts and commerce together. So first of all, calculate arts and commerce together. Here it is twelve plus twenty two, twelve plus twenty two, which is equal to thirty four percentage. Here in two thousand one, that value is thirty four percentage of the total value three five triple zero thirty five thousand. 
here two zeros and here two zeros cancel. Now you can multiply these two. 35 into 34. 35 into 34. 4 fives are 20. Here it is 12 plus 15. 27. 27 plus 2. 29. Next, uh, 3 threes are 9. 9 plus 2, 11. 1190. This value is 1190. In the year 2001, arts and commerce together. 1190. Whereas coming to in the year 2002, arts and commerce together. 11 plus 24 which is equal to 35 percentage. What is 35 percentage of 35 percentage of 40,000? That we need to calculate. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel. 35 into 4. 35 4 sir. 140. 140. And two zeros will be left over. So you can write it as uh, two zeros. Sir. Okay. And next. Uh, see here. Uh, one more zero will come into the picture. Why? Because uh, here only two zeros are cancelled at this position for this uh, 2001. 34 into 35 that is 1190. And here we have one more zero. So you, this value becomes uh, 11,900. Whereas this value becomes uh, 14,000. Now we got a total number of students uh, who are studying arts and commerce together in 2001 and 2002. Here in 2001 together value 11,900 whereas in 2002 that is uh, 14,000. The question what he is asking is uh, that particular 2001 value required percentage. Here we need to calculate the percentage. That particular percentage is arts plus commerce in the year 2001, what percentage of arts plus commerce in the year 2002? That is a question he is asking us to calculate. Okay. Now you can uh, take those values. Here the first one is the required percentage is equal to arts plus commerce 2001 11900 divided by 2002 value that is 14,000. 14,000 into 100 percentage into 100 percentage. Here you can cancel two zeros and two zeros and uh, one more zero you can cancel. And next uh, here you left over with uh, 1190 divided by 14. Now you can calculate this value. 14 eights 112. 14 eights 112. 7 is left over 70. 70 means 14 5 sir. Therefore, our required answer is 85 percentage. 85 percentage is the right answer for this question. Option B is the right answer. Option B. Let us look at the fourth question. In which faculty there was decrease in number of students from 2001 to 2002? 2001 to 2002 value should be decreased. First, if at all none of these option is not there, then you can go with the option verification method. Whatever the options are given, directly you can check it out, those options. But here we have none of these option. So we need to check it out each and every option. First of all, we'll check it out uh, through uh, options. Uh, commerce. Commerce here 22 and this one is 24. We want the decreased value. We want the Decreased value. If you observe carefully, 22 percentage of 35,000 and 24 percentage of 40,000. Suppose, for example, even though both the values are both values are equal, 35,000 and 35,000. If the percentage is increases, obviously count will also increases. But according to the condition, from 2001 to 2002, value must be decreases. So, definitely commerce is not your answer. Why? Because the reason is, here the percentage is 22, here the percentage is 24. So, obviously this value will increase. Coming to arts. Arts here 12 percentage, here 11 percentage. We cannot say exactly the value will decrease. Why? Because uh, here this 12 percentage on this 35,000. Whereas coming to this 11 percentage is on 40,000. This total value is more in this uh, for second case, in this second year, 2002. 
so you cannot say exactly next one agriculture agriculture here it is 7 percentage here it is 5 percentage here also you cannot say exactly and next pharmacy here the pharmacy is 6 percentage but here it is a 9 percentage definitely value will increase definitely value will increase so you can eliminate option d as well you can eliminate option d first we will check it out check it out arts and com arts and uh, agriculture if at all answer is any value is decreases among these two then we can go ahead with uh, any of the options or otherwise uh, you can go with uh, none of this here the arts value first uh, arts value 12 percentage of 35,000. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. 12 into 35. Here it is uh, 350 plus 70. 350 plus 70, uh, 420. 4200. 4200. 350 into 12, which is equal to 4200. That is uh, arts in the year 2001. Whereas coming to 2002, arts. 11 percentage. 11 percentage of 40,000. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel. 11 four zero, 44. 44 double zero. If you observe carefully, here the value is increases. Arts value increases as comparing with uh, 2001. Therefore, this is not your answer. Now, finally, you, you will be left over with only one option that is in, uh, agriculture. If agriculture value is uh, not decreases, then you can go with the uh, option G. Here, agriculture. Agriculture in this case 7 percentage. What is 7 percentage of 35,000? 7 percentage of 35,000. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. Here, one more zero at the end. And next, uh, 7 fives are 35. And next, uh, 3 sevens are 21 plus 3, 24. 2450. 2450. That is uh, the value in 2001. Agriculture value in the year 2001. Whereas coming to 2002. 2002 agriculture 5 percentage. 5 percentage of 40,000. 5 percentage of 40,000 which is 2020s zeros, zeros cancel. And uh, 400 into 5. That is uh, 2000. Here the agriculture number of students are studying that is uh, 2000 whereas in this year uh, in 2001 that particular value 2450. There, therefore it is very clear that uh, in the year 2002 agriculture value is decreases as comparing with uh, 2001. Therefore our required answer is uh, option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Last question in this session. See here. In which of the following faculties the percentage increment, percentage increase in the number of students was minimum from 2001 to 2002? Percentage increment that is minimum. He is talking about percentage increment that is minimum. Okay. So, first you can start with the uh, Commerce. Previously, just now we calculated arts. 12 percentage. 12 percentage of 35,000. 35,000. That is uh, 420 and one more zero. 4200. Whereas arts in this case 11 percentage. 11 percentage of 40,000. Here the value becomes uh, 4400. And next coming to commerce. Commerce here it is 22 percentage and this is 24 percentage. Here uh, obviously 2 percentage more and coming to medicine. Medicine uh, first here commerce 22 percentage whereas in this case commerce 24 percentage. Right. First I will uh, compare only the percentage numbers. Here if you compare per percentage numbers. Uh, here it is 12 percentage, here it is 11 percentage. We want the increment value as minimum as possible. Okay. Here, one more option is medicine. Medicine is 11 percentage here 
and here it is 10 percentage. First, we will calculate what is 11 percentage value. 11 percentage of 35,000. 11 percentage of 35,000. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. 350 plus 35, 385. 3850. Whereas coming to 10 percent, medicine in this uh, year, 10 percentage. 10 percentage of uh, 4000. Sorry, 40,000. Two zeros, two zeros cancel, which is uh, 4000, right? Now, this value and this is uh, 3850. And next, uh, signs. Here the signs is 24. Here the signs is 22. Now we need to check out this value definitely. Why? Because uh, here the increment for commerce 22 and 24. This one directly eliminated. Why? Because increment is more. But whereas coming to this case, arts is 12 percentage. Here the arts percentage is less, but number of students are more. Whereas coming to medicine is also same thing. Medicine percentage is 11 percentage. Here the percentage is 10 percentage. Even though the number of students are increases, but the percentage is decreases at this position, right? Here also same thing, 24 percentage, 22 percentage. There might be a large variation. Once we will check it out, uh, this one as well. 24 percentage of 35,000. And uh, this one is 22 percentage of uh, 40,000. Okay. Uh, here, if you observe carefully, 11 percentage value, we got it as 4400. Similarly, here it is uh, double that of uh, 11, that is 88. 88 double zero. This is a value. 24 percentage. Here, 12 percentage value is uh, 4 to double zero. And obviously, 24 is double that of uh, 12. So, which is nothing but uh, 8400. 8400. Here this value 8400. Here this value 8800. Now once look at the increments which are minimum. Increments. Agriculture is obviously decreases. Previously we calculated right. So you can eliminate that particular uh, faculty. And next uh, pharmacy. Pharmacy is increases. And next uh, engineering that is also increases. But among all the values, among all the values, there is a huge chance of getting minimum increment. Minimum increment is happen. Minimum increment is happen. If 2001 percentage is less and 2002 percentage is, sorry, 2001 percentage is higher and 2002 percentage is lower. This 2001 percentage higher and 2002 percentage lower. As comparing with these two, which values are increases? Here if you observe carefully, arts increases, medicine increases, science also increases. But how much value increases? That is the thing that we need to check it out. Here arts increases by 200 only. 4200, 4400, 200. Here, arts is increased by 200. Commerce, commerce no need of verification. Why? Because uh, obviously it will increase uh, in a large scale. Medicine, medicine here it is 3850 and here it is uh, 4000. It means uh, it increases only 150. And next, uh, science, science. 8400-8800, obviously it increased by 400. So, obviously you can eliminate option B and option D. So, your required answer is uh, option C. Medicine is increased by only 150. Medicine is increased by 150. That is the minimum increment from 2001 to 2002. Guys, in this way, you need to solve the problems related to pie chart data interpretation. In the next session, from the next session onwards, uh, we will discuss about uh, next, uh, uh, maybe either bar graph or else uh, line graph. Okay. Thank you.